What's up everybody and today we are reacting to SCP Dollhouse. I have no idea what this is at all. This is by Evan Royalty. I am be I've been recommended this so many times, like so many times that it's getting to the point now where I have no option but to react to it. And I hope it's good because, it, you know, people seem to want me to watch it. So it must be really good. Uh, but before we get started, as per usual, members, you're amazing. I love you. I couldn't do this without you. I honestly couldn't make videos every single day if it wasn't for you members. And I really do appreciate you guys because, honestly, I don't know where I'd be without you. So thank you for being awesome. If you want to become a member, there's a member button down below. Like a join button down below next to the subscribe button. Um, links down below to all the usual stuff. Instagram, Discord, Twitter, website, merch. My second channel, which is popping right now, and if you want to see me do a playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077 and play some Dungeons & Dragons, head over to my second channel. Link down below. It's called Original Human Geek. It's awesome. Uh, my podcast, which has been phenomenal recently, the podcast with my dad on it, um, genuinely blew up with love and attention that it deserved because my dad is a genuine hero for what he's done. So if you haven't seen that podcast or listen to it please go to the link down below check it out he's a tr he's a real hero he's a real hero um and my twitch stream where i stream mondays wednesdays and fridays i'll also leave a link to the original video down below please go over to the original video like subscribe comment to them the whole shebang i'm sure they deserve it we'll find out after the reaction, shall we? Um, it says, a group of Foundation MTF operators investig investigate a suburban home after reports of an anomalous, anom anomalous, anom anomalous, I can't say it, activity inside. Okay, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to make me head into a rectangle. We're going to watch this. This is on the highest setting possible. Oh, it oh they're doing it in 4K. Ooh. Which in 4K, shall we? Fancy. All right, let's see this. Retro digital. High production then, I guess. Okay. If anything pops off, we're gonna have a hard time telling people it was a gas leak. Depends on what happens. Powers, what's the pull at now? Save it, Coleman. You had your chance. I wasn't. They all wear these skull masks? <laughs> like ghosts from Call of Duty. I'm talking to you, O'Neill. Powers, when's the bedding closed? You can get out of the car. You gonna call it? Depends on the pool. Fletcher? 250. Given the intel, Cognito Hazard. That's my final answer. Done. Hell yeah! Always wanted to take your fucking money. Ready up! This looks really, really good. One critique, though, which I thought was phenomenal in uh, the Escape from Tarkov episodes was so that the military members in the Escape from Tarkov, obviously they were in the field for quite some time, but their equipment looked worn. It looked used. These are like their equipment's brand. Everyone's got brand new equipment. I don't know whether that's the aesthetic that they're going for, which it might be. It might be. They might be like, didn't it say? Didn't it say in the, in the description, uh, a group of Foundation MTF. I don't know what MTFs are. Obviously, some sort of US, um, you know, whatever. But um, it looks all like fresh gear. So maybe it could have looked a little bit more worn. I have no idea. I think. I think it just. It doesn't look aesthetically pleasing as um, a worn bit of it. It feels more like real, like they've, they've been through it before, whereas this looks all brand new. I'm not saying it looks bad because it actually looks like really, really high production, which is kind of nice to see. Let's get it, boys. Okay. Payload 01 to talk. We've passed Vector moving to the target building over. Stacking up nicely there. Okay, okay. Straight into a V formation. Interesting. So they show they, they teach you all these different formations in training in the Royal Marines. Um and the transition between so 
it's easy to to practice being in a V. It's easy to practice being in a line or whatever. But transitioning between, from what I remember, even though training was so long ago now, from what I remember is we spent more time transitioning between the different formations than we did in the formation. So that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. I don't know whether that would have been the best formation going up to a building, but hey, everyone has their own SOPs. This dude's just randomly getting out and looking around. It's like camel skin? Going in sneaky beaky, yeah, this is something that I'm not very good at. <laughs> NVG's on. You can see the actual flare in the eye there, the, the, the glow in the eye there. That they are actually turned on, which is pretty cool, unless it's just an effect. Either way, this is really, really high production. I'm very surprised. For them quad nods, quad nods that I. I didn't think were real. I thought they were, you know, futuristic stuff because we never got stuff like this in the Royal Marines. Uh, but from what I learned from playing in Modern Warfare is the amount of comments of people being like, he doesn't know what quad nods are. Blah, 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 blah. We never... Do you think the Royal Marines have the budget for this stuff? <laughs> anyway, these are cool. These are cool. I want a pair. Okay. Sneaky beaker. Weird that they stood in the doorway though. That wouldn't happen. One thing that I um, learned as well, I mean, obviously these guys are going in sneaky beaking, they're going in quiet, but um, we would use um, some sort of indicator in each room to show that it's been cleared, um, whether that be some sort of glow stick or whatever. Uh, you throw something on the floor so you know it's been cleared. Um, these guys are just flying through the rooms, which it, I guess it depends on their situation, doesn't it, really? <laughs> The thing is with room clearing like this is it changes so quickly, the tactics. Talk, this is payload 01, building secure. Moving to SSE, over. 02 and 3, on me. We'll handle the first floor. Time to go look for nothing. Come on, Coleman. Foundation's gotta know what kind of poor middle America's got stashed in their closet. Here's a mess. Nothing's working right. I think it's got the clap. Any intel? <laughs> the densest part of this hard drive. That's random, but sure, that's hilarious. Hard drive is the directory for a program called Java. It's software that's been running since before we got here. Looks just as fucked as the rest of this machine. It keeps crashing, hitching, and rebooting. What's the program do? I don't know, it just spits out code. All gibberish. So, I mean, the code is probably not a gibberish. You could probably break down that code and figure out what it is. But someone in the military isn't necessarily going to know that. You'd have to scrape that and send it to someone else. As someone who's studying computer science, you could break that down and be like, okay, this is what it's doing. 
but he's just on the ground trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So that makes sense. Also, why is no one covering the doors while they're doing this stuff? Like they're kind of just looking through all the computer and the files and stuff. No one's covering the doors. It has been cleared, but you can, you can never be too safe. You can never be too safe. You guys personally know any shrinks? Are you asking because it's related to the mission or are you just curious? The female occupant. Any idea why this is here? If she's living with this shrink, possibly in a relationship, why is he bringing his work home with him? I don't know, I'm not a shrink. Didn't your friends in Langley do her background? Yeah, none of this came up. How the fuck does somebody get institutionalized and allow that go on record? You see that? She was in for a year. What do people think? She just went for a long walk? If Langley missed that, how much else don't we know? Yeah, it's very spooky, but it's not the kind of anomaly we're after. Keep looking. So we don't actually know what, like, we don't actually know what they're there for. I kind of like that mystery, like, why why are they in here? It's just throwing, it's throwing us right into, into the, the meat of it and being like, they've gone in, they've cleared this house, they're looking for something. Us as the audience don't know what that is, and I kind of like that little bit of mystery. Hey, TL, can you come here for a sec? What is it? Anybody else <laughs> been in the living room since we came up here? No. Okay, so who moved out all the furniture? Hey, stop right there! This is zero one, we spotted suspect two, moving to apprehend, over. So is this like, is this like a horror thing? What? Check that door, check behind the door, check behind the door. This is zero one, lost contact with suspect two, searching the area, over. There are hidden doors, some bullshit? I like a challenge. West, get up here. I like a challenge. <laughs> right now. Alright. This guy's walking past all- Couldn't have gone oh, This woman, from a military standpoint, right? This woman's just walked from a room they've already cleared into another room that they've already cleared. They should be on lockdown again, as if they haven't cleared a single room. That's what they should be doing. This guy's just walked right through all them rooms. No big deal. They don't know where she went. They have to clear all them rooms again, right? This guy's just walked right through all them rooms. Now, listen, I know, I think they go, I think they're going more with the horror vibe than they are with the military vibe, okay? That's the feel I'm getting from it. I feel like it's like the military, they're kind of doing their thing. There's some really cool tactics in there when they were first clearing the rooms. But really and truthfully, this is more of a horror thing than it is a military thing. And I kind of don't mind that right now, actually. Too far. You, you know, find anything down there? Nothing concrete. What happened up here? Suspect 2 walked into this room from the other door. We went after her, but didn't find anything. TL, you're gonna need to see this. Got something? Come here, check this out, all of you. Very dark. Fuck me. Talk, this is payload 01. We've passed trigger. Area appears to have non Euclidean geometry that extends the house to an unknown degree. Moving in to reconnoiter the new area. Over. Roger 01. Status on suspect 2. Over. Suspect's location is unknown at this time. Over. Roger that. Proceed with the recon mission. If you feel as if the AO is too large for you to fully explore, get you and your men out of there. Over. Understood. 01 out. That makes sense. Hey, if it's too big, get the hell out of there. You, you ain't getting enough people. That's kind of cool. These two guys, these two, have no idea that this place is compromised again. And they're still rooting through all this gear like it's nobody's business. <laughs> Any luck? Nope. Just a lot of shit I don't understand. It looks, 
It looks like he's got a squishy face. <laughs> squishy face. <laughs> All right, what's this contingency? Well, Neil, you know anything about the word Cardoon? are still unknown at this time, but it's likely to assume they are not the attackers from two days ago. If it is indeed a raid, then the methods employed don't line up when compared to the MO of the previous attackers. Why is this guy? It is however possible that they may be connected. Why is this guy going in his own detail, cracking his own detail there? It's not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Connected through an anonymous tip between the two groups. Feel like a mutual benefit that would imply can only be speculated. Take a picture of it. Right. Interesting. Yeah, get the MBGs back stay on. Stay frosty. Stay, stay frosty. Stay frosty. <laughs> I'd be like, lads, let's get out. This is weird. They heard something. Okay. Okay, just take a picture. Yeah, that's weird. They need to get out there. The place is too big. They don't know it. It's, it's compromised. Things are going on. They're all split up. This is not good. Damn cool. Fuck, my nerves just turned off. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Mine too. I can't see shit. Yeah, it's going to take you a good 20 minutes to adjust that darkness, mate. It's time to leave. What's that? my head in front of that? It's too it's so dark, this. It's so dark. Can I turn this? Can I turn this up? Let's have a look at the properties. Let's see if I can... I don't think I can turn it up, guys. It's so dark. Filters. Plus. Nah, there's no... I don't, I don't know how to turn it up. It looks like there's a... I can hardly see with my own computer. Like a little girl stood there? You see something? You got a flashlight? Put your flashlight on. Oh, oh. Shit! <laughs> that was weird. Just a girl just comes at him with a knife. Yep. Yeah, pop pop a couple in her. Two in the chest, one in the head. Cool. Alright, I don't think you can see that because my head's in the way. But she like glitched and went backwards. Hold on, you good? Yeah. What the fuck was that? Sir, we need to go right now. Yeah. They do. Talk, this is payload zero one. We have a threat in the building. Current weapons possibly insufficient. Permission to clear out over. Roger yep. that. Zero one out. Fuck this house. Yeah. Wes, let's go. Three, two, you gotta be kidding me. Talk, this is 0106 is down. I repeat, 06 is down. Possibly KIA, over. What should we do? Nothing we can't do. We need to move. What? They're just gonna leave him? They're just gonna... He's KIA. There's nothing we can do. Let's go. guy I just left him <laughs> see ya it's my girl to call how are you doing we had a little gas leak is everything okay everything is fine nobody's come to the house no there is nobody here everything is fine if you insist what? just checking in on you completely understandable alright well Sorry to wake you. Have a good night. You too. Goodbye. Target is no longer present. He's just so calm about it. Target's no longer present, guys. Let's crack on. <laughs> I'd be like, 
What's going on, guys? I'm going nuts! <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's get out of here. Saw some weird stuff. Also, one of the lights is down. Tried to raise you guys earlier. What happened to West? He's gone. What? How? Dude got fucking vaporized or something. Did you see anything else while you were in there? Anything that might point to what we're dealing with? I don't even know how to describe it. It was almost like a broken video game. Everything was glitching out, even the suspects. Any clues on your end? Just speculation. I think, this is just a guess, I think what you've seen here is connected to this computer. These glitches appearing may coincide with a lot of what I've seen on this machine. I think it's affecting everything in the area. Don't really know how or why, but like I said, it's my best guess right now. So, theoretically, if you're right, and if we take that shit with us, it could possibly begin to affect things outside of the house? That's assuming it isn't already doing that. Could have spread across this whole block for all we know. So I love how calm they are about this whole thing. No big deal. It could have spread across this whole block right now for all I know. Yeah, no biggie. Let's go to the pub and wait for all this to blow over. <laughs> Do we leave the laptop here? Well, that's a very good question. Why don't we just hit the power switch? No, we don't know what will happen once it's off. Yeah, I don't want to be part of that experiment. Here's what we can do. I can stay here while you guys return to the vehicle. I'll copy the important files over to a secure drive and then shut everything down. You sure about that, Fletcher? Not a good idea. I'm sure. Not a good idea. I'll stay too. If you go down, I can finish the job. Try to make it quick. Let's move out. That's not a good idea. Love, That's not a good idea. Why though? Nobody's ever won that. Yeah, I always wanted to see a ghost, though. Oh dear. Bad idea. Cut. My nods are no good. You almost done? Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Oh, nah, mate. Fuck it, you whipping out. Two in the chest, one in the head, no big deal. You're like, where's me mate gone? Where's me mate? Also, something's going on with your computer. Nope. No. Nope. No. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Wow. That was really cool. Okay. Okay, I'm a little confused at some bits. I think it's really cool. You don't really see many, you know, films or TV shows or anything that is like military and horror. Like them two things, it's like a genre that I think needs to be filled. You don't really get movies that are like start off military and turn into super horror. Or at least you don't get many good ones. So it's nice to see that they're doing that. Um, it was more trippy than it was scary, I think. Um, the fact that they were all super calm was a little weird. But it was really cool. I want to know what's. I want to know more. What what else is going on? Like why, why did they go there in the first place? What are they dealing with? Like it's kind of, it's kind of set it up for something really cool. I want to know what else is going on. You know, like they can't just end it like that. I want to know. I want to know the whole shebang around it. Who are these guys? What are they going to do after this? Where are they going to go? What are they doing with the laptop? Are they going to go back in the room? Why did they find this house in the first place? trippy but i like it apparently there's like a second one they do as well um i forgot what that's called uh, um so we just watched dollhouse i think there's another one scp let's have a look here overlord overlord's the other one that's a bit longer that one uh but we can check that one out i wonder if it's something similar either way i really liked it i really liked it um, let's pop your members up. 
if you want me to react to the next one, SCP Overlord, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video and all that good stuff, all right, guys? Uh, members, you're amazing. I love you. I honestly couldn't do this without you. Links down below to all the usual stuff. Instagram, Discord, Twitter, website, merch. My second channel, which again is popping right now. My podcast, which is amazing right now. Uh, so definitely check that out. And my Twitch stream, where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, which we've got a big week next week, the end of the week. Thursday, we have the new update to Warzone. We also have Cyberpunk being released. And then we also have the Game Awards. So a ton of stuff happening next week. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a ton of fun. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.